safety first! Tommy Harry TV! Uh oh! Kiwi Jack Jack's on fire! Quick! Let's open up our fire kit from Kiwi Co! Perfect! What's that, baby Jack Jack? Oh, you want to burn metal? I don't think you can do that! You can? Okay, let's try it! Aha! Alright, baby Jack Jack, we got this! We have our aluminum foil, our steel wool, two matches, a water to dip the matches in. Make a bowl. <laughs> a perfect, perfect little bowl for Hobby Harry's fire. Always having a responsible adult to assist you. Right, baby Jack Jack? <laughs> well, calm down, we're not ready yet. And now we're gonna place our wool inside of our bowl. This is steel, it's just metal. All tiny little pieces of metal. Now we have to light this fire. Oh, it's getting hot. Whoa! Give a thumbs up so you can see those tiny little flames! Two cotton swabs. One of them is going to be dipped in highly flammable methanol. Careful with this stuff, it's very hot. Alright guys, let's light our candle, okay? First, this is with no methanol. Let's do this. Cool, just a regular old fire. Pretty neat. Oh, I can watch this burn all day. I don't wanna get it too close to my hair. Boom, burnt out. Now I'm gonna like the, oh bummers. All right, now we're gonna do our methanol Q-tip. Ready, one, two, three. No. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a bigger fire. That's a very big fire. It didn't even burn! You guys see that? Well, now it did. Aha! Whoa! That is the coolest fire I think I've ever seen before in my life! Ah. Then that's why we have aluminum foil on the table. Safety first! This one here is our methanol tip. This one over here is no methanol. Just regular old cotton. Another test, shall we? Because science is awesome! Baby Jack Jack is ready. We have our glass little bottle filled with methanol, all ready to go. We're gonna get a match, and we're gonna light this bad boy. But first, we're gonna put some water around the glass. One, two, three! Ready, Baby Jack Jack! Definitely on fire, guys. It is Whoa. definitely on fire. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, guys, this methanol is so stinking hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a suction. It's gonna get hot inside this jar, and you're gonna see the water pop up. You guys, ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa! That was really neat. The fire is out. It ran out of oxygen. Best way to starve a fire is to take away the oxygen. Good cool, eh? All right, let's take a little bit of food coloring and let's color this water so that you guys can see the vacuum effect take place. Do 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 do. do. Uh oh. You guys ready for this vacuum effect? We're gonna cover our flame. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Look at how it sucked up all that water into the bottle. That is so cool. If you get a shot, you can't even see the water in the cup anymore. That is so neat. The fire is out. It ran out of oxygen. And that's what you call learning. Okay, now we're gonna release the water. You guys ready? One, two, three. Were you able to see much? Okay, now we're gonna make colored fire. We're gonna use our lithium chloride to make green flames. Are you ready for this? I 
think I am. I think I am. Baby Jack Jack, are you ready for this? Oh, baby Jack Jack. Gonna make some green fire because it's cool. Oh, it's still orange. Whoa. Can I make pink fire? Whoa, it's hot pink orangey fire. That is definitely not green. Sometimes your experience your experiments don't go according to plan. We made pink fire instead of green. Oops. Baby Jack Jack, what do you think? Pretty cool, right? Can't even tell them apart. Which one am I holding? The fire or the love fire? Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for watching. Pick up one of these two videos for more Hobby Harry fun. Batman here. We're doing the Glow Lab by KiwiCo. Whoa, that's cool, Batman. Are you ready? I am so ready. Careful, Batman. Let's dump all of our stuff out. Perfect. Ha ha. All right, here we have our rod and our base for making our swirly, sticky thing. Got my goggles on. I'm ready. Now we're going to be attaching our tubing system. Clippity clipper. Clip in. We're clipping in. Whoa, this is really swirly. Our swirly tubing bigger mixer dealer funnel thing. Pretty cool, right? We're gonna grab a very small scoop of our fluorescence here. All right, that's a very small amount. Now we're gonna dump that into our 100 milliliters of water. Whoa, that's cool. What? It's red here, and now it's turning yellow here. See it? Whoa, looks like nothing's happening. Whoa, that is so cool. Can you see it now, guys? That's really cool. <laughs> wow, that looks like something I eat for breakfast. Wow, Batman, that's gross. It is kryptonite. This is a UV light. Watch what happens when I turn it off. Uh-oh, looks like nothing. Whoa, that's super cool. Science is pretty awesome, huh? All right, Batman, what do you think about trying zinc sulfide? Right on. There we go, a small white scoop of zinc sulfide into 100 milliliters of water. Are you ready to mix this stuff up? One, two, three. Whoa, now it's like a white glowy stuff. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, I think I still like the fluorescence better. So bright. All right, now we're gonna use our UV light and we're gonna pour our fluorescent solution down into our cool funnel mixing tube. You've got this little funnel, dude. Cool, cool. Wow, that is so neat. Now we're gonna do our zinc sulfide into the mixing tube. Ready? One, a two, a one, two, three. What? That is so neat. It's so awesomely blue. Wow, so cool. Looks like the green took over. Shine it on the powder that you spilled. See if it glows. What? Whoa. Looks like I made some oopsies right here. <laughs> I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. Uh, what about my face? Nope. All right, Batman. Now we're going to do what's called a luminol reaction. We're going to make this stuff glow without any lights. That's what that means. This is two containers of 100 milliliter water. Boom. Five milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Gonna mix that up. Now we need to add some scoops of stuff. Two small scoops of sodium carbonate. One, two. Now we're gonna do two small scoops of luminol. One, two. Now we're gonna do a large scoop of sodium bicarbonate. Ploppity plops. Now we're gonna do an orange scoop of the copper sulfate. Now we're gonna mix it up. Hey, Hobby Harry, let's turn off all the lights so we can really see this reaction take place. You got it, Batman. Oh, there you are. Here, we have our hydrogen peroxide and our luminol solution. We're gonna pour them in at the same time. Now watch the glowing take place. One, two, three. I do not see anything happening. Well, that was an epic fail. Oh man, I think it was too bright in here. Let's go to your super dark Batman dungeon and try this again. Always be prepared with your Batman friends. Here we are in Batman's dungeon, his super dark dungeon. We're gonna pour these two together and see what we get. One, two, three. 
Whoa, that is super glorific. That's luminescence at its best right there, everybody. Wow, honey, Harry. That is super awesome. Whoa, super cool. Can I have one for my Dungeness Dark Lab? Sure, why not? For more Hobby Harry Science projects, click on one of these videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up, because science is awesome!